This is the Earth Science Classroom. Welcome back to the channel. This video is on soil science. It's in the playlist for soil. And we're looking at the origins of our soil. Where does the soil come from? And we have to look at what's called the R horizon or commonly known as bedrock. So in terms of location, the bedrock is the foundation, the lower layer of, the, of which the soil is built upon. So it's generally going to be between one to one and a half meters down below the surface. Now, if you dig down, this could be one and a half meters down. It could be two meters down, depends on the location, or it could be very close to the surface and within a few inches or centimeters you would hit this solid consolidated rock layer which is called the r horizon now this could be either a layer of igneous sedimentary metamorphic in one area or could be a continuous slab of just sedimentary rock which is generally the most common because most of the earth's surface is 75 percent sedimentary rock and you do get areas of both igneous rock called magma whether it's intrusive or extrusive or you might get some uplifting occurred in the mountainous areas with some erogeny and you might have an area of metamorphic rock which is exposed on the surface which would be the baseline or the foundation of the soil and above the R horizon you have the C horizon and then you start to get the more uh, or increase in organic material mixed in with this mineral component and you get some of the air and water pore spaces as well but above the R horizon is the C or the parent material horizon so this is not really part of the soil system technically it is that baseline layer which is always included in soil diagrams and profiles because it is essential that the soil is going to sit on a solid consolidated material layer which will either be igneous sedimentary or metamorphic and the soil is going to derive or form from this layer being weathered so the weathering over tens of years hundreds thousands millions of years depends on the location depends on altitude and lots of different factors but the weathering the mechanical and chemical weathering of this bedrock is going to create small pieces of rock which will mix together with organic material to form the first a and c horizons and that's going to initiate the soil development over the course of time now this is the part of the Earth's interior, which is right on the surface, which is the upper part of what's called the regolith. And then below this bedrock, you just have continued rock layers and rock strata down through the crust. Mostly on the continental crust will be between 15 and 25 kilometers thick. And then you get into the first layer of the mantle, which is the lithosphere. So you could have some material that is transported to the location and deposited on top of the bedrock to assist with the formation of the soil but over time you'll have just a breakdown of this bedrock and the formation of multiple horizons with different characteristics above which formed from this bedrock this is the earth science classroom thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed the content uh, check out more videos on our channel and don't forget to subscribe thank you again